were just about to start working a three bedroom home in the Hillview area, Waterford City. In the front bedroom you have a four foot wardrobe here and along the wall you're coming to the, the back of the other room along here. So what we're hoping to do is take away all the studs, do all the wardrobe, put two of them back to back to show you the next room. So this is the back of the other wardrobe along here. And this is another four foot wardrobe here. So these take away all take out all this stud and remove all the old wardrobe. That just shows the space where the old wardrobe used to be in the back room. And then in the front room, the wardrobe is removed as well there. And you can see the stud now on both sides. That's to come down next. So now we have the boat wardrobes are removed, the studded wall is taken down on one side. The next step is to put the wardrobe up in the front room with a solid back which will provide sufficient support for the ceiling joists. Then we take down the other stud and put another wardrobe with another solid back up against it, creating double your space and fewer wardrobes in each room. So now we're at the stage where all the units are fitted into boat rooms. In this case, it's going to be a three door slide rope. So, how it works is you have three sliding doors, and in behind each door, you have a single unit. Each unit is fitted out to suit each customer's individual requirements. In this case, I left all the units blank just to give you an example before we start the internal fit out. Now, I'll show you in the back room, which is already completed. So, here we are now in the back room. Again, you have a three door sliding wardrobe. In this case, the customer for a standard internal layout. What that consists of is your double hanger rail and some shelves down the side, your storage shelf across the top. In the middle section, which is behind the middle door, your double rail and your storage shelf at the top. And on the end again is the double rail and some more shelves down the other side. Now I'll bring you back, in, back into the front room again and I'm going to show you a finished layout with a couple of extras added in. Right, so now we're back in the front room again. In this case, the customer went for a couple of added on extras as opposed to a standard internal layout. Here you have the pull down rail, just pull forward, allowing easy access to the clothes up top. You have your double rail, your shoe drawers at the bottom. In the middle section you have your storage shelf up top, a standard length hanging rail, and some cubby hole shelving just to maximise the space. On the last unit you have your storage shelf at the top, you have a tall by drawer pack for underwear and socks. In this case you have a long hanging, short hanging and a standard hanging. So you have three variations of hanging length as well. In the next clip I'll show you the doors and the finished product. Right, now we have all the doors fitted in the front room. In this case the customer went for timber doors with glass bands. In the centre door they went for timber top and bottom with a four foot mirror in the middle. The four foot mirror still acts as a full length mirror so it's safe to take over the whole door but with, with all mirror. Now I'll just show you in the back room next which is a little bit different. So now we're in the back room, in the final stage of the video, I'm just going to show you the last couple of doors. In this case, the customer went for pearl white, full mirror and pearl white. Both of the outside doors have a decorative strip just to break the doors. Open back to allow full access to each section. Now guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more information, contact the showroom a unit 106 to 6 Cross Roads Business Park or you can visit the website swissfurniture.e Thanks for watching well, I was just starting in a 3 bed semi in a standard fucking standard reason <laughs> <laughs> Start again <laughs> Go again Now we have both <laughs> <laughs> I'm it out, I think, can I? Yeah. Right, now we have both wardrobes removed and the studded wall is also removed. But I'm leaving this stud for sufficient support until the front wardrobes are in. With solid backs on both, which will prop up the ceiling joists. Ceiling after, isn't it? Joists. Let's start again. Let's start again. <laughs> <laughs> you leave it after, I'll get going. <laughs> no, I'll start again.